In this video, I'm going to talk about something relatively unknown, which is the internal consistency reliability of component or factor scores. So some of you might be in a situation where you want to create or save factor scores or component scores from a factor analysis or component analysis. And I'll show you an example where I did that recently. It's I had four subtests uh, relevant to processing speed. And I created a, a component and I saved uh, the component scores associated with this component. And then I used those component scores to uh, predict something. And I wanted to know, well, what is the internal consistency reliability associated with those component scores? And you can't just calculate, I mean, technically, you can't just calculate the internal consistency reliability without a special formula because you need to take into consideration the unequal factor loadings or component loadings associated with the analysis. And one formula you can use to uh, evaluate or estimate the rely internal consistency reliability of factor or component scores is this formula here presented in Armour, Armour's uh, paper from 1973, uh, which is entitled the reliability or theta reliability and factor scaling from sociological methodology in 1973. So if you scroll down in that paper to Formula 9, you will find a formula that will help you calculate or estimate the internal consistency reliability of factor or component scores. My hunch is that this is actually most accurate for principal component scores. Uh, the extent to which it's accurate to other types of data reduction uh, estimation techniques, I don't know. But definitely for component scores, uh, it should work. And so here's the formula. You have P, which is equal to the number of indicators in the dimension reduction analysis, which in this case is principal components. And I had four processing speed subtests that I wanted to amalgamate into a single uh, component score. So four is the number for my example. And then all you, all, the only other thing you need is the eigenvalue. And in this case, the eigenvalue is 2.206. So with that information, the number of indicators, and your eigenvalue, you can calculate the internal consistency reliability. And so I did that with this Excel sheet where I have number of items for eigenvalue 2.206. And then I calculated theta with the formula, uh, which is up here. And I got 0.729. So the internal consistency reliability of the component scores that I created out of the component analysis has internal consistency reliability of 0.729. Now this uh, is, in this case, very close to what you might expect uh, because the coefficient alpha reliability is very similar. So I calculated the internal consistency reliability based on just the four subtests included into the same analysis. So analyze, scale, reliability. So I just included all four tests and calculated reliability on that, and it came out at the 0.726. Not much of a difference, admittedly, in this case, and that's because the factor loadings are pretty similar. It's a very small uh, component in the sense that there are only four indicators, and the range is between 0.64 and 0.83. Not a huge amount of variability. But in other cases, you might get a much bigger difference in the range of uh, component loadings and so theta reliability will be theoretically uh, different to uh, just regular coefficient alpha. So that's how you can calculate uh, the reliability of factor scores or component scores uh, in a dimension reduction analysis.